Hello and welcome to another Raggy's uh, video. So yesterday I went over to um, the Robin Hood and Little John pub in Arnold for their event and I just put myself a glass of beer out and uh, yeah I wasn't, I wanted to go but you know literally I work and when I come home from work, dog walking God, you'd have thought that we'd have a dog and it'd be taking so much of our time. Um, it's just secondary fermented as well. But uh, that's for another That's for another day. Whew, get in, look at that. Beautiful. 9% port plum porter. Seriously smells nice. Um, yeah, so it started on Thursday. Um... And like I say, I, I was struggling to go for the simple reason is um, yeah, uh, we literally we couldn't get it. Um, and uh, so on Saturday we were, we were out walking, uh, taking dogs for a walk and then going to um, Beeston for for a few drinks in Beeston, you know the uh, the star, the pottle, or the crown, in you know one of those three. Um, sadly, um, our friends got some bit of bad news, and they had to rush off to their pets. So, you know that that was um, not the greatest of news for them. So we came away because obviously your pets come first at all stages of the game. So anyway, um, over at the Robin Hood and Little John, we got home, said to the wife, I said, oh, I just fancy going up there and getting some emmets. So I took my plastic Panda Pop bottles, um, obviously cleaned them and washed them first. I went up to the Robin Hood and Little John. And so what the good people, and this is a lack of review, but to tell you that, you know, uh, these are the events that I'd like to see more of. So the Champion Beers of Britain Awards, the People's Choice. So there we go. And you've got the beers there. And I'll read them out. You've got, I can read it. Um, in the mild category, dark mild, these are gold winning beers from Harvey's Brewery. From the Session Bitter, it's Darwin's Origin from Salopian Brewery. Uh, on the premium bitter, it's Abba Ale from Green King, which got quite a bit of um, bones of contention for that one at the beer festival last year, Great British Beer Festival. Next one was IPA from Diablo Dragons from Brag de Twit Lol. Um, it actually said a different brewery, so I'll come in. I'll get into that in a minute. The session pale was from Island Hopping. It was Island Hopping, and it was from the Swan A Brewery. The premium pale was Electric Landlady, the only one that I did not get the chance to try. It gone just before I got there. Baker's Dozen Brewing Company, so literally the only beer of the ten that I hadn't had. Uh, Session Stout and Porter was uh, Dark Drake from Dancing Duck. I've had Dark Drake millions of times. Uh, Strong Stout and Porter was 1872, the overall champion beer of Britain last year from Ellen Brewery. On the Milds, uh, Brampton Mild from Brampton Brewery, Chesterfield-based brewery. And then finally, on the Barley Wine and Old Ales, it was Old Tom, which I've had a lot of times, from Robinson's Brewery. And then it says that in 2023, uh, the camera judges voted Ellen Brewery, uh, 1872, the champion beer of Britain. Will you agree? So... There was the beers. Um, and uh, I'll get you my photos, because my photo is actually a bit better. So, so obviously there's Dar Darwin's origin. Obviously Green King Abbott. Island Hopping, Swanee. 
And then Diablo Dragons from the Triforest Brewery, collaboration with um, another brewery. I will, when I post it, make sure that I put that on. Um, I end up in the Gendorans, haven't you? Yeah, yeah. And that's it. Yep, 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 yep. Ah, 1872 Porter. Brampton Mild. Harvest Brewery. Many of these breweries I've never ever had before. So this was an honour for me to go down. Dark Drake. Old Tom. <laughs> and uh, yeah, uh, I've reviewed all of them that I could get my hands on. I didn't review Dark Drake because I've reviewed it many times. Um, let me just have a swig because I've got a first. Oh. So this event ran at the two Lincoln Green Brewery pubs. Now over the years, obviously, I have an admi admiration for Lincoln Green. Very cute, uh, know what they're doing. Um, like all breweries, I don't agree with certain things and you know, it is what it is on that side of things. Uh, and as a beer reviewer, sometimes I'll say something and uh, yeah, whatever reason. Um, but anyway, uh, the event, it was run at this the Robin Hood and Little John, which has 20 cask lines. Wow. And also ran at Station Hotel. And they must have a similar sort of amount of cask lines. I never did go into the other bar at uh, Station Hotel to see how many, how many, you know. I only ever went in the one bar in the times that I've been there. Um, obviously... Uh, the team at the Robin Hood and Little John know how to condition cask beer. Their cask beer is absolutely amazing. I mean, Anthony, the head of Lincoln Green, does courses or did courses, free courses to landlords on how to look after your cask, get the best from your cask. And the good thing at my workplace now, we've actually got somebody who knows how to do cask beer. So we've actually got that ability now, not that, not that they have cast beer on, but you know, um, with weddings it's not easy, maybe in a wedding venue, because you've got to be able to sell all that cask and uh, yeah, it's not easy. Uh, keg's better in that respect. Um, so in essence, um, so yeah, the beer was fantastic quality. Uh, I'll tell you now that the Green King that was on cask, I'm not sure if it's the same Green King that's so on sale in Green King pubs, because the stuff from the pubs is much lower quality than the stuff that was on sale at the Robin Hood and Little John. I won't say it was the second best pair in the UK quality, <laughs> but it was better quality, you know. Uh, re watch the review for my true thoughts but um, as an event I, I, I was I thought that it went brilliantly and <clears throat> and you know Robin Hood and Little John wow you know they held it brilliantly I would have thought Friday might have been the better day to start it but hey ho you know um, I suppose on Thursday the first people who get there um, next time there's another if, if there's another event like that I'll make sure that uh, I try and get over on a Thursday um, <clears throat> which I'm sure pleased to arrive no end <laughs> obviously I've done reviews of all the beers because there's beers they have never had before and I wanted to review them and I wanted to see what Abbott, Abbott Ale on cask was like from a brewery that knows how to look after their beer, uh, from a pub, sorry. Um, but the idea itself was fantastic, you know. Um, for me, if this could be replicate, replicated time and time again, um, it makes for an interesting 
you know, like a once a month thing. I mean, for me, the Robin Hood and Little John could do tap takeovers. I'm not sure if, if that's something that Lincoln Green are interested in, but once a month tap takers, takeovers from breweries that are not in Nottingham, because no, we've already got Nottingham beers are all over. I'm talking about breweries that don't get to come to Nottingham, that you don't see here. And what that does, that brings people who are interested, and that'll bring a lot of people to the likes of the Robin Hood and Little John and the Station Hotel. Uh, the beer will fly out anyway because of the fact that I've never had this beer. You know, and when you look across the country, there are breweries up and down the UK whose beers you don't see in Nottingham pubs, uh, who do cask, you know, uh, it's all about the cask. And um, yeah, it, uh, and tap takeovers that nobody else is doing. Um, and you know, these breweries, oh, I see them all the time, but uh, it would be amazing and certainly a talking point. But then also, um, beer competitions up and down the country that have their award winners. And again, that what they've done there with this with the Great British Beer Festival. You've now got the Great British Winter Beer Festival coming up sometime soon. I think it's this month. And to do it from that one, um, not far after, not long after the beer festival, uh, to get those beers again and do the same thing again. And and this is a thing that can be replicated um, on a cask front at least. But yeah, um, what also helped Arnold yesterday was the fact that there was a little beer festival going off up the road as well. We didn't get to that, to be fair, because we, we was only out for a limited time, a couple of hours. We'd already been out walking dogs for two, hour, two hours or so, so the evening was swallowed up. Um, but um, yeah, fantastic event. Um, big kudos to... Um, Lincoln Green for setting this up it was uh, and I do hope that uh, the people at camera um, in their magazine uh, actually cover this because it, it is a worthy thing to cover it's a lovely bit of positive news for the local beer scene especially after losing another brewery just recently um, and it's great to see you know um, that love of cask and good cask should be brought to Nottingham pubs for people who can't get all over the country. Not everybody can. Not everybody's got the money to go travelling all over the UK. Uh, and, you know, so to have these beers on our doorstep is, is an amazing thing. And I hope as many people got to try the beers as possible. I mean, I technically I had nine. So, yeah, missed out on one. But I yeah, can't win them all. Um, but, yeah, a great thing for Nottingham and... Uh, yeah, and the pub yesterday was well busy as well, so that was good to see. I've been on a Saturday afternoon before and it was a bit quiet, early doors mind. And you're like, oh, you know, you, you, you do worry for pubs, especially in January. Um, with too many, are all these people doing this dry January rubbish? Um, yeah, I'll do what I like and that side of things, but... Uh, There's a lot of evil things in the world that can make you make you ill and all that. Moderation's king. Um, but yeah, stunning, stunning work. Can't wait to see what the future brings and, uh, you know, different breweries. Um, an idea that I thought was... Uh, get breweries from regions so like the Dorset region um, Norfolk Suffolk there are a lot of very very good breweries in those areas whose beer doesn't get to Nottingham uh, if I'm talking Suffolk we're looking at Adnams of course and um, in that area of the country you know St Peter's you never get St Peter's brewery cask in Nottingham never 
Adnams, you'll get a ghost ship. And maybe Broadside. But you certainly don't get all their other beers. And that, like I say, both breweries have got a lot of amazing beers. And then there's, um, is it Moongazer? Um, like I said, there's literally so many breweries in different regions of the country whose beers don't make it. And you, you could do a collection of 10. Today we're going to, doing the Norfolk thing once a month because you will not want to do it too often. But, uh, you know, a trip down, three hour drive, ampersand as well in that area of the world. And uh, do a trip down, chat to the breweries beforehand, get, get the casks uh, ready. And, uh, yeah. I think it'll be amazing. I really do. And, and for me to have Monby Doorstep is even more amazing. Somebody like me anyway. But also amazing for the local beer drinking scene. Who can get to see what the beers are that they've never had. You know, beers that you just don't get in Nottingham. Um, and there's lots of them. Trust me. Anyway, um, that's my uh, thoughts. My praise. You know, I thought it was a brilliant, you know, and that's the feedback I want to give. This, um, from a, from a beer drinking point of view, beer is ma a magnet. You know, you'll get the people who go to pubs just to get drunk and all that, but beer is a magnet. That's why beer festivals do so well. So to have little beer events like this one from this weekend and do that once a month, um, could be an amazing thing, or even twice a month, but uh, yeah, once a month is good. Yeah, I, I just know where I'm going once a month then, on that particular weekend. Yep, yeah, uh, we're going, the happy drinkers and me, we'll go over to the Robin Hood, because we know what's there. Um, but yeah, and then if the other side of the bar's got 10 more beers on, they're equally that great, where are you going to go? Hey, 20 different beers? Yeah, flipping heck. Um, yeah, absolutely amazing. Um, big pull, bring the people into Arnold and Hucknall, you know, both locations. Um, yeah, it would be good. Um, interesting to hear feedback on this from people if you watch this or if you live in Nottingham, just to hear, uh, live locally rather. Are you, your feedback, do you like the event? Did, did you go to the Robin of the Little John? Um, and what did you think of the beers? You know, um, obviously, um, what did you think of Abbott? That'd be, that'd be an interesting topic of conversation, of course. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching, everyone. See you soon.